Okay, that was another one of Wes's original tunes called Kariba. That was recorded on a Riverside album called Full House with Johnny Griffin on tenor saxophone. It's a, it's a really nice album. I would suggest you go and find it and listen to it. Um, likewise with the rest of the tunes we look at and the ideas, you really need to be listening to as much Wes as you can and then you'll identify the sounds that we're talking about. The tune we just played, Kariba, of course, is dependent upon the minor over the dominant seventh. And we've seen, if you look in the booklet, that we're playing F minor shapes over the B flat seven. We're playing B flat minor shapes over the E flat seven. Um, and then we're treating chord five as normal as the F. And chord, at that point, chord four as the E flat. But the rest of the way through, we're treating it as B flat minor. The shapes we're using are also shown in the booklet, and they were shapes that Wes liked to use frequently, so you're really going to need to learn them. What I would suggest for your practice regime before you play the tune is to play them and give them four beats to a bar. So you have two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. When you feel comfortable with that, two beats to the bar. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And you're nearly there with the tune Kariba. And then one on each beat. And of course, do the same on the B flats. And so on and so forth. Practice them up and down the fingerboard, learn to use them freely. I found in my experience uh, as a teacher over the years that this chord, with the second finger flattened on two strings, seems to be the most problematic. And <coughs> indeed, it is hard to bend that finger backwards. Some people play it using those two fingers. And it does have advantages in that you can take a finger away. But of course, you can't play any notes above, whereas if you play it this way, you can play higher notes. And things like Joe Pass 2 fives, which you can't play using the other fingering. So I would suggest you persevere with that fingering. Now, that substitution, which was one of Wes's most popular, was using the minor over the dominant. Some people call that minorization. It is basically exchanging the two for the five, putting the two in place of a five. Now, of course, we can go the other way. So calling this F minor, we can now treat that as a B flat nine. Of course, the top three strings contain the same notes. This is the principle of all chord substitution, that there are notes in common. So basically now, when we see an F minor, we can use a B flat 7. So we could use B flat 7 type sounds, arpeggios for instance. Which is very typical Wes Montgomery sound. There's one tune in particular <coughs> which um, uh, I always think sounds really typical typical Wes, it, it, it just gives you that immediate flavour of Wes. Uh, he's recorded it a few times and it's actually been out on um, video also. And it's a tune called Yesterdays. Now Yesterdays is in D minor and it starts very firmly in the key of D minor with a D minor chord. <laughs> Shall we uh, play the beginning of yesterday's? One, two, three, four. And so on and so forth. So you can hear very firmly. Wes plays, instead of calling it D minor, if we took a D minor here, 
on your 10th fret, 10th position, which is a shortened version, of course, of, of that bar chord, the D minor. And we said, well, what ninth shape does that also belong to? It's a G9, which is, of course, a 2 and a 5, in interchangeable 2s and 5s. So now, for yesterday's, instead of starting with D minor, Wes actually starts with a G13. Now that sound immediately, to me, conjures up Wes. And so on and so forth. And for his soloing also, instead of playing over D minor, he now plays over the G using G7 arpeggio to, pr to provide that typical Wes Montgomery sound. Now, you're going to see a short clip of the great man himself playing the tune Impressions, and notice his first chorus. He uses, it's in D minor, the same, and he uses this G7 sound for the entire chorus. <laughs> 